Welcome to this Qigong routine for autumn, for the lungs, and the element we call metal. Let's begin with opening the lungs and chest. Take a deep breath in, then exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. This is called spinal cord breathing. We'll inhale as we open the chest, exhale as we round the back. Inhale through the nose, tilting the pelvis forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Nice and long in the back of the spine on that exhale and finding length along the front of the spine on the inhale. Great exercise for lower back pain or any constriction in the chest, a lack of confidence that tends to constrict the front of the body. Feel that reverse pattern here as we open the chest. Sense of confidence and courage. Opening up through the body. Confidence and courage. The emotions of the metal element. The element that is predominant in the season of autumn. The leaves are falling and nature is contracting back into itself. So we find this contracted nature of metal chi in our body and mind and psyche. More strong during this season. So we'll work on that during this routine. We'll start to give ourselves a little turn from the hips and waist. Feet are about shoulder width. Bring your back hand to hit your lower back muscles at the door of life region. And your front hand coming up to knock on the chest just below the collarbone towards the outside edge of the chest where it comes near the shoulder. We have a couple of points along the lung meridian here. Lung points one and two on either side. Stimulating these points helps to uh, get rid of stagnant chi from the lungs and energize the lungs and immune system. In Chinese medicine and the whole theory of qigong, it's a bioenergetic theory. So we think of the organs and glands and all the parts of the body, tissues, all as running on energy and being a matrix of interacting energy fields. There's some modern science converging on this. But essentially, we want to stimulate the body so that it's producing and circulating energy. So we find that in Qigong through knocking on the body, swinging the body, shaking the body, and through deep breathing and mindful meditative movements. All right, let's bring our heels close together. Bring your palms into fists, back of the hands towards each other. They come up and then down in tiger claws. Now as we do that, we're going to step forward, step back as your hands come back in. Stepping forward, stepping back. This is the movement from tiger style qigong. What we're doing is staying back weighted here. So as one foot comes forward, it just lightly touches the floor. We sink slightly into the back leg, not so much that it hurts the knee, but just enough that we feel grounded and rooted there. This one, your breathing can just be natural. Just feel this moving energy through the body, just starting to get our blood moving, pushing some blood and energy through the tendons. Now we're going to do a slightly bigger step. Stepping 45 degrees here, now we're involving a weight shift. So we're going to step out 45 degrees, then shift the weight, and shift back. So first stepping, no weight, then shift the weight, then step back. No weight, weight, step back. As you're going into the weight in that front foot, you're flipping the claws face down. Flip the claws face down as you shift the weight. No weight, weight. Back weight, front weight, back weight. Back weight, front weight, back weight. Good, come back. That one might take a few tries on this routine to feel natural, but really fun once you get it. A great way to move some energy through your body. Now take your left hand, back of the hand across your low back, right hand comes up and over. You're gonna twist to your left, press down and away with that uh, right hand and look over your left shoulder. So I'm mirroring you here, it might be a little more confusing from this angle, but you're looking over the left shoulder. Your left hand is against the lower back. Your right hand is pressing down and out. You just hold this and breathe. Do about three or four deep breaths on each side. Let's come back through the center. 
Windmill the arms, take your right hand across the low back, left hand, pressing down and out away from you, twisting to your right. Try to find this twist, not in your legs or your knees or your feet, keep everything rooted below the hips. But that twist is in the spine. So feel your waist and neck here primarily turning. Stay rooted in the legs, that might mean you might need to keep that right knee as you twist to this side, pressed outward slightly. And finding deep breaths as we hold there. And then we're going to spiral back to the center. Take your palms face up. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, press down. Good. Let's step out nice and wide. Here's sort of our quintessential lung chi exercise or metal element exercise. We're going to cross the wrists, drawing a bow here, pulling the right fist back to the shoulder. The left palm is pressing outwards, flexing the fingers towards your face. And then you're going to fold the last three fingers and just extend the first finger and the thumb, which are the appendages that our lung and large intestine meridians go to, or our uh, metal element meridians. Here you're really pulling back through that right elbow. Think of the elbow drawing back, not so much the fist. And come back to the center, draw the other way. The right hand pressing out with the palm, the left hand pulling back with the fist. But again, primarily the elbow being what's pulling back here. Look for a stretch from the right palm to the left elbow. Keep your head and shoulders centered above your hips. Find your feet slightly wider than your knees. Notice my legs are like an arch bridge here. So my knees aren't going outside of my feet, but the feet are outside the knees. And we're going to step in after some deep breaths there. Sink the chi again. And we'll inhale, lifting up to smoothing out and sinking the energy we're working with here. Exhale as we press down. Good. And we're going to step out again, finding that horse stance. It's like you're riding a big horse. Another tiger qigong exercise. Pull your claws back by your shoulders. Take a breath in. Then we're going to exhale and push slowly forward. We're going to hold the breath out for a moment, then spiral, bring the hands back to the shoulders, open the chest, inhaling, holding the breath for a moment. And our next one, we're going to press backwards, like our palms or our tiger paws are pressing a wall behind us. Extend backwards, lean a little forwards, keep sunk in this horse stance, then inhale as we spiral back around and open the chest. Don't worry if you're not getting those wrist spirals perfect on the first try or five. Exhale, press forward again. Now we're trying to do some breath holds on these, so hold the breath. Inhale, open. Again, this one might take a little more work than just one time through this program, so if these breath holds are really hard for you, then just know that you, over time they'll be a lot easier. So feel free to breathe naturally if these are too tough at first. And exhale presses us back. Inhale brings us around. And I'll tell you a little bit about the breath on the next one. We're using a ujjayi or tiger breathing. Sounds like this. You're breathing through your nose and hissing the breath at the back of the throat. Inhale, open up. This is our last round, holding the breath. And exhale, press back with that hissing sound in the back of the throat. Tiger breath, almost like a growl, just on the exhales here. Inhale, open up. That's our last one. We're going to open the palms, step it in, and press it down. Exhale. Inhale, draw up to the chest. Exhale again, sink the chi. That lung chi likes to sink and root lower into the body, into the kidneys and the dantian. Let's take a breath in. Hold one thumb with a fist. Hold that fist with the back of the hand. Exhale as you sink that down to the lower dantian. Then just find a few natural breaths. Holding the fists against the lower abdomen. We call this the Tai Chi or Yin Yang palm position. And sink your mind into your lower abdomen as you watch the breath there. Always breathing through the nose, unless otherwise specified in Qigong. 
release that hand position. Next, we're just going to stimulate the body with some knocking. This is to break up any stagnant chi using the vibration and piezoelectric quality of the bones and cartilage. You can take a big inhale here, hold the breath, and let it out with a sigh. Again, inhale. That's a big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Feel free to do those at your own pace if it's too slow for you. Inhale. Breath hold. Keep stimulating up and down the sternum. And a big sigh. <sighs> Good, now just breathe naturally as you tap down the inside of one arm. And up the outside. We're following the flow of the acupuncture meridians. The yin channels carrying chi down the inside of the arm. The yang channels carrying it up the outside. Do it one more time, up and down. Then from across to the other arm, tapping down the inside. Up the outside. to stimulate the chest and the neck and shoulder area. Breaking up stagnant chi. And then lift one arm, slap from the armpit down the waist. Going in downwards motion, armpit down the waist. Lots of lymph nodes in here. It's great to destagnate. Let's come to the other side, armpit to waist. Just three times. We love our magic number three in Qigong. Come to your lower back, tap on those back muscles next to the spine. And then with open palms, slap down the back of your legs and up the inside of the legs around the groin, back to the lower back, back of the legs, up the inside, down the back here, breaking up that stagnant chi, letting go of what we no longer need, good theme for fall, following the seasons with our practices, one really beautiful way to work with our energy. And then go around the hips, front to back, back to front. Just following the soft parts there. And then release. Toss that stagnant chi away. Take a deep breath. Notice how you feel. Feel some buzzing in the body. This next one, we're going to open up the arms. Imagine white light in the sky pouring into the palms. Then gather it into those lung points, connecting the thumbs and fingers and touching just below the collarbone and the little pocket next to the shoulders. We'll take a deep breath in, and as we tap those points, we'll make the letter Z. Z. Take an inhale, and we'll clear the lungs with a cough. <coughs> Good, and release. Drawing up. Exhale, pressing down. Let's begin to shake the body. Let the bouncing come from your feet and the rest of your body mostly relax. Relax especially across the neck and shoulders, and the lower back and waist. Release tension from the body, using your breath to help this release by inhaling through the nose and exhaling softly out the mouth. Continue that sighing breath as you start to knock the heels now into the floor, vibrating the bones further, creating this electric charge through the body.
causing the bones, vibrating the bones to dissolve the stagnant chi, let go of the old, they're shaking and sighing. And come back to the center, pause and feel your energy. You might notice that buzzing feeling of that piezoelectric charge from the bones. Let's turn our palms forward, we'll begin to flow, inhaling through the nose as we lift the hands to shoulder height. Flip the palms and exhale through the nose. Palms lowering down, back beside the hips. Inhale, floating up. Exhale, pressing down. You can find a little weight shift here. Inhale, our weight a little more in the toes. Standing taller. Exhale, sink your weight back into your heels. Whenever we do Qigong, we want to feel the whole body integrated, not just our arms waving around independently, but the whole body flowing with the motion. Take our palms face up, arms round in a hoop in front of you. We call this the lower embracing the tree position. Feet are about shoulder width, toes roughly pointed forward. Crown of the head floating to the sky. Tailbones sinking to the earth. Knees soft. Elbows gently floating away from the ribs. Shoulders relaxing away from the ears. Just hold here and breathe as we build this structure into the body that allows for higher quantity of chi to build inside. Your eyes can be opened or closed. Just watch your natural breath through your nose. Watch the feeling of your body and continually and gently adjust the posture. Release those hands, going into our next flow. Nice one for the lung energy. We're going to inhale the hands face up, all the way up over the head. Bring them down by the chest and exhale, press forward as we sink, bending the knees, sinking the hips down. Turn the palms down and inhale like something buoyant is lifting you under the arms. You're standing back up. And exhale as the hands float back down. So two breath cycles on this one. Inhale, palms face up, scooping up like we're gathering mist, sparkling white mist. Exhale like we're pushing that white mist through the lungs. And inhale like that mist is billowing up under the arms, lifting us back up, standing taller. And exhale like we press the mist back down. Again, inhale, gather, sparkling white mist. Exhale like we move it through the lungs especially, but really through the whole body and mind. It's washing through us, cleaning us out of old stories, habits, thoughts, and energy. Exhale as we sink. of the lungs we equate with metal, sharp and distinct, often related to our identity, our sense of self-esteem and confidence, courage, our sharp lines of who we are and where our boundaries are, a sharp line that distincts truth from falsehood. Metal is a very powerful ally 
And we all want a healthy relationship with. Just because we're in a spiritual life or on a healing path doesn't mean we can't have boundaries, a sense of self, healthy ego. So as long as you're not an enlightened being, you're going to have an ego and you're probably going to want a healthy one. So here as we gather this white light, let's feel a sense that we're bringing in a healthy sense of confidence, self-esteem, boundaries, truthfulness, courage, honor, discipline. All these light and cool energetic qualities of metal. Let's bring our palms back to that rounded position, hoop in the arms, sink your tailbone and elevate the crown, pulling the chin very slightly back to open the back of the neck, relaxing the waist and low back, and lengthen as the tailbone and pelvis sinks, spreading through the fingers and toes, making lots of space in the body for the chi to build. Release, inhale, float up, and open. Exhale, turn your palms face up, close the arms, bringing the elbows and hands towards each other. And inhale, palms turn face down, open the arms, open the chest. As we exhale, we're going to touch the thumb and first finger, closing the circuits of lung and large intestine meridians. Inhale, open the thumb and first finger, bringing more energy in. And exhale, sealing it into the body, letting it circulate through those two metal channels. Inhale, open, shift your weight forward, open the chest, pull it forward. Exhale, sink the weight into the heels, sink the chest back, sink the hips and bend the knees. Again, our whole body moves with this motion we call white crane soaring. Deep, slow breath. I'm going to add a little pause at the top of the inhale here. And slow, long exhale through the nose. And inhale, open. And again, we'll pause at the top of the inhale, challenging our carbon dioxide tolerance. Improving CO2 tolerance can be a great way to relieve chronic anxiety as well as to improve metabolism and increase the general functioning of the body. CO2 actually helps the body get oxygen into the cells. Which is part of why all these practices with the ancient arts seem to have breath retention and breath lengthening practices. Let's bring it down and hold the hands in that lower embrace the tree position again. This time with the thumb and first finger touching to seal the metal channels. You might imagine that we've collected white light in the lungs and like it's circulating through the body, circulating through a hoop in the arms, circulating in the circle of the thumb and first finger, circulating all throughout and around the body in a strong bright aura of white light. dignity and character, resilience, tenacity, honor, truthfulness represented by this white light, this metal quality of chi. And quite often those of us in the world of healing arts, yoga and new agey stuff tend to be somewhat afraid of or deficient of this element. So it's sometimes good to focus on it a little extra, especially during the season of metal. Let's close this practice with pulling down the sky three times. Exhale as we draw down. 
Inhale as we float up. Right, imagine white light from the sky washing through your body, from head to toe. Dissolving and clearing any remaining stagnant energy. Step in, fold the hands over the lower dantian, the lower abdominal region. Begin to allow your body to rock and sway. Just like a tree is drawn up to the light of the sky, imagine the crown of your head blooms like a white lotus flower, merging with the white light of the heavens. Drawing you upwards from your crown, you feel elevated energetically towards your highest nature, your highest purpose, your origin. Step back out and begin to circle the belly, connecting back to our center and our root. Take a few deep breaths, just gathering the chi into the vital organs, especially into the lower dantian, our cauldron where we cook our elixir of vitality. Spiral it in there. Pause. Focus. And bring your palms in prayer by the chest. Just set an intention for what we want to do with this energy or where we want to go with this practice. Perhaps a prayer to a higher power. breath in, and release with a sigh, letting that energy spread to your fingers, toes, and even the ends of your hair. Hope you enjoyed that practice. Take that energy into a beautiful day or a restful evening. My name is Nick Loffrey. If you love this practice, I come out with about one every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see when they come out. And feel free to leave me a comment about what you enjoyed about this or what you might like to see differently on my channel. If you have any ideas for new content or any suggestions, I'm always happy to hear them. Also, if you'd like to get my free e-course, I have a brain, liver, and gut reset course on my website. You can get it for free just by signing up for my newsletter. Feel free to click the link below in the description and grab that free e-course. You'll also get notified about my upcoming offerings. Thanks for joining me.